Okay, so we, are you ready to start? Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, today's uh, meeting of the South West Local Area Committee is open to the public. Uh, a warm welcome to all of you. My name is Councillor Andrew Sanger, and I am the chair of this Local Area Committee. Uh, before I ask other councillors to introduce themselves, I'll hand over to the Democratic Service, Officers, Service Officer to read out the housekeeping arrangements. Thank you, Chair. Before we start, there are just a few housekeeping arrangements to mention. Please can I request that mobile telephones and other such equipment are switched to silent mode so as not to disturb the conduct of the meeting. There is no fire test planned for today. If there is an emergency evacuation, please take instruction from the council staff present. The assembly point, I'm told, is down the path at the side of the building and in the rose garden. Um, the fire exit is behind me there. The toilet facilities are situated out that main door, past the bar and down the corridor. The meeting today is open to the public and will be streamed live and for subsequent broadcast via the Council's website. You should be aware that the Council is a data controller under the Data Protection Act. Data collected during this webcast will be retained in accordance with the Council's published policy. By entering the meeting room you are consenting to be filmed and to the possible use of those images and sound recordings for webcasting. One final thing to mention, we have hearing loops available. If you would like to use one, please let us know. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can I please ask that members and officers around the table introduce themselves soon? I'll start on the left with Cliff. Good evening. My name's Cliff Woodcraft and I'm one of the forward councillors. Uh, Tim Huggan, uh, Council of Crooks and Crossbow. Joanne Cooper, Democratic Services. Uh, Andrew Sanger, Council for Forward and Chair of South West Lack. Tony Bustamante, South West Lack Manager. Barbara Masters, Councillor for Ecclesall. Uh, Roger Davidson, Councillor for Ecclesall. Uh, Sue Alston, Councillor for Forward. Uh, Joe Otten, Councillor for Dawn Topping. Minesh Parrott, Councillor for Crooks and Crosspool. Uh, Ruth Melson, Councillor for Crooks and Crosspool. Thank you very much. Um, before we proceed to the agenda, I'd like to explain how we're going to work today. Um, we'll deal with the, the formal business of apologies and declarations and minutes of the last meeting. And then the main chunk of the meeting is breaking into groups to discuss um, the community plan priority. So that's what we've been doing over the last year, but also giving you the opportunity to say what we should be doing over the next year or two years, because we felt that in previous meetings you hear too much from us and not enough from you, the public. So very much the bulk of the meeting is, is your meeting in terms of, in terms of, in terms of the, the workshops. Um, but following that, um, Tanya will bring the finance report um, for agreement by the LAC based on the spend we've had uh, in 23-24. And then we've got a couple of um, public questions before closing the meeting. So, without further ado, um, item two, apologies for absence. Um, we've just had apologies from Colin Ross that's an hour. I understand Councillor Martin Smith will be late. I, I thought I understood that Councillor Shafat Mohammed will be late as well. Okay, item, item three, uh, exclusion of the public and press. There are no items that require exclusion of the public and press. Item four, can I ask whether any members wish to declare any interest in any of the items of business on the agenda? No, that's fine. Okay, item five, can we approve as a correct record the minutes of the meeting on the 30th of November? Agreed? Okay, excellent. Item, item six. So we will now break into groups to reflect on the actions, achievements against the community plan and to capture more mid-term actions for the next couple of years. Um, project slide updates printed off on the tables uh, so that you can read through them and see photos and highlight updates and the projects underway. Uh, members will lead on engagement of one of the three priority themes and will move around the table so that everybody has the opportunity to discuss each priority area. 
Uh, you're invited to give your feedback and suggestions by using the post it notes provided. Tanya. Members are allocated to a particular theme so that we're moving around and engaging with each, with each of the tables. There's roughly 25 minutes per theme for each table. So everyone will get an opportunity to feedback on each of the themes. So we, we now descend onto your tables. That's right. Excellent. And we're going to restart the webcasts. So can people bring their conversation to a close, please? Okay, so we now move to item seven, which is a very, very brief feedback from councillors from what they have heard. So I don't know where we want to start. Um, Tim, do you want to do one minute? Um, talking about community involve, engagement, uh, there are quite a lot of questions about how how we evaluate the success of projects and, and ongoing and moving forward at how we look at the projects and also how we look at projects that may take place over multi years and, and how we need to um, uh, um, with a greater certainty of funding over the next year how we, how we uh, make sure that we make best use of the money available for that um, I think that's a very quick synopsis there are some very good ideas we were talking about community cinema was, was one etc so these are all things that will come out in the wash I assure you Okay, I mean, I can I assure you that all the ideas yeah, have been recorded and we will be, um, the team will be collating those and they'll be form part of the minutes of this meeting. Cliff, do you want to a minute? Mm, yes, yes. Um, so there was uh, a, a number of things that were concerned about with, with transport and highways. Parking, um, enforcement seems to be a, a, a huge issue with, 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 with parking and, and that would be a great deterrent if we, if we can achieve that and, and we, we looked at, um, at, at various ways of doing that and, and, and made uh, known things like Operation Park Safe which, which would help with that. Um, again speeding was another issue that was of, 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 of concern still, um, how, how, how that can be enforced. Um, to, 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 for, for safety um, going back to parking I mean there, there are areas of the, of the city particularly like Crooks where there just isn't enough space for the number of cars um, so th there's a lot of very difficult um, problems we've got to deal with here um, and a anyone who can come up with the solutions for some of these um, can, can look forward to um, a, uh, a Nobel Prize I think okay. Martin, I'm assuming you do. Uh, apologies, Chair. I came in late. I was, it was a really good session over there about community engagement, but Tim's already fed back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Ruth? Uh, I have nothing to add to the communities except that there's some really good stuff on the sheets about um, expanding future work uh, and some of the longer term stuff, which was quite hard to think about, but. Um, might, might be quite good to look at as a, as a team. Excellent. Sue? Thank you. Yeah, we, uh, we're doing the environment uh, section. We have two big themes in it. The first one was around fly tipping, uh, the need to try and reduce it, to try and make uh, other options available for people getting rid of rubbish. Um, and look at better recycling options and see what we could do at a local area uh, as well as passing back comments to, um, to the council more widely. Um, the other big theme that we had was around trees, so lots of uh, suggestions about tree planting, uh, about working with uh, friends of groups to uh, plant more flowers, trees, uh, and just generally improve the, the, um, the green environment. Uh, and working with schools around recycling uh, and around uh, litter and graffiti. Uh, and we talked about the, the uh, project at Exor Library, um, the art project to try and reduce graffiti. Um, 
I think that's... Have we missed anything? No. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that, thank you. Uh, Manish? Yeah. Okay. okay. Joe, do you want to say anything? You don't have to. Um, well, I, uh, yes, I mean, you, you were at the same session, Danny. I don't know if you wanted to do the talking. I think, I think we had good discussions on, at, at all the groups about um, uh, parking, particularly parking around schools, um, you know, questions about what we can do to improve things like active travel. Um, and then in the last session, I got my ear bent a great deal about the state of the roads. Um, I, I, I was very relieved to, to escape that for the first two sessions, but, but the, 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 I mean, the concerns are quite right. We do have a challenge in getting Amy to deliver um, to the standard we expect. Okay, thank you. Roger? Uh, I hope you don't mind if I stand. Um, thank you very much. Uh, mine was um, a, an interesting one because it was uh, on air. And uh, there was a lady uh, from um, uh, Fullwood who uh, wanted a similar forum to what we've got in Ecclesall. So if there are any people out here who would like to start a forum of that kind, um, they, they, she would welcome it because um, it's a good way of meeting the councillors. And uh, we certainly had a, a, a reasonable turnout last night of the, uh, uh, what used to be the Ecclesall and uh, Cartonell um, groups which are now merged and it's now MEC. Um, uh, so uh, that's the Millhouses and Eccles All Community uh, Group. Uh, have I got it right? And, yeah. But it was uh, well attended last night and uh, you, you do get a, a, a lot of feedback. Now the important thing of course is that, um, uh, that those people that are uh, in, in office have to listen to what is being said. We don't have magic wands but we are there to, uh, to listen to what people uh, and what, what their, um, their problems are and um, see, see what we can do to mitigate or answer those, um, those problems. One of the things that came up was um, about the com uh, community food shops. I mean, a lot, a lot of what had already been said was um, uh, what, uh, what was also discussed on, the, um, uh, on that, uh, that particular um, uh, 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 event there. So what? Uh, yes. So community food shops ca uh, came up as a as a project. Uh, we have them in some areas, but um, perhaps we ought to look at uh, how that can be done in uh, in the southwest of Sheffield. Uh, perhaps we need more volunteers. We are actually lucky with uh, a lot of volunteers that we've got in the areas from litter pickers and um, uh, those that uh, operate uh, uh, the, uh, the community groups uh, which uh, are not only the ones I've mentioned but there's a, a lot going on uh, around the, uh, the, the community churches um, for toddlers groups and, um, uh, and giving meals for, for people that um, uh, are uh, lonely uh, or, or, or can't get out normally and it gives them that sense of get, uh, being able to get out the other thing that was uh, suggested was a WhatsApp group. Now, I, we have a WhatsApp group on the road, and I'm sure that many of you, through the pandemic, one of the things that did come out that was uh, a silver lining, if you like, was that people got to know the neighbours during that pandemic. And uh, my road had a, a WhatsApp group, and it's, still, and it's still going. And I'm sure that that happens uh, with your road. But uh, the idea was that... Um, that the LAC should have a WhatsApp group. Now, I don't know how feasible that is, but it might be worth uh, having a, a look at. Okay, so I'll, I'll leave it there. Then. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you, Roger. I, I'll say I've got very, very little to add. It's just, just to say on Transport and Highways, we did talk a lot about um, the challenges of parking around schools. Um, and I think we were, you know, we, we, we're clearly in the early days of the of the community speed watch, but the individuals being involved in that um, I felt it was uh, a useful initiative. Uh, we've heard about park safe, and as Councillor Austin has just said, that um, the state of Sheffield Road the, um, uh, has come up as something that all councillors need to um, bear in mind. The, the way at this time of the year that the roads are just falling apart, and we've got this contract with Amy, so we've got to make sure that we get good value for money. So thank you very much for all your contributions. I say we, we, we officers took notes so 
um, there will be notes in the minutes. Um, and as was finally said at our last table, um, the report, some of the ideas we had two years ago after the survey, we stopped because we didn't think they were achievable. Now we've got clearer guidelines about the next 12 months. We might relook at that list um, and get back to people about seeing whether things are, are achievable. But yeah, I think the feedback we've had from all three tables has been really, really valuable. So thank you for that. Right, with that, if we can note that and move on to item eight, um, which is the finance report and community plan summary. So I will hand over to, to Tanya, who is our South West LAC manager, to present the finance report for the year 23 24. Thank you. It's working. Thank you. So, for this item, I'm bringing the finance report today uh, to outline to the LAC members the funding that's been allocated from South West LAC Community Budget towards actions and projects in the community plan, which a lot of the actions and projects will have been sort of talked through today uh, in the engagement sessions. So, the recommendations for this report are to firstly to note the spend against the £100,000 budget, um, which was to address the local priorities as detailed in the report. Also, to note the spend against the 26,697 uh, lack cost of living budget that was allocated to us this year. Um, and finally, to approve the reallocation of the surplus £10,000 budget, which was carried forward through to this year. Um, and we'd, we'd like that to be added to the LAC ward funds. So firstly to note the spend, if you see on page 4 um, of the finance report at section 1.6, the first table outlines the community plan budget and each of the profiled items under each of the priority themes of transport and highways, local environment, um, community and neighbourhoods. We also have a section where we allocated specific ward funds for each ward to deliver on projects and initiatives that meet the priorities in the community plan. Um, just aware of time, so I won't really go into the detail of it, Chair, but it, the, the, the summary is that there is no surplus anticipated in the funds at this point. Um, moving on to page uh, 8 of the report at section 1.7, that outlines the cost of living budget that was allocated to us this year. 50% uh, of that was agreed to go to support Sheff uh, Sheffield Citizens Advice telephony line um, to, support, to support its free advice line for citizens. Um, the other 50% was uh, launched as grants for uh, cost of living funds to support any activities related to cost of living in the South West Lack area. Again, there's no surplus anticipated there. Um, and lastly, to approve um, the reallocation of the £10,000 of ward funds from 22-23 budget that was carried over to this year, um, which was given actually last year to explore with Transport and Highway survey, Service any measures that could be implemented to safeguard totally ride shops. Um, this is at zero cost, so the lag, it's, a, it's a surplus in the budget, and we propose that that's added to the ward funds, which would be £2,500 per ward, again, to deliver local projects in line with the local uh, community plan. Thank you very much. So, as I say, one, one of the challenges of lack working is that this is a, a report for, for councillors. So, so, very briefly, does any councillors have any questions or comments, or can we just go straight to the recommendation? Okay, can we agree these recommendations? Thank you very much indeed, colleagues. Um, okay, item nine. I'm looking for Mr. Lennox. Um, sorry. So, so how do you want us to deal? Do you want to ask the question? Have you had this answer? So do you want to ask... I, I understood it, it was referred to Social Services Committee. So, so sorry, Mr. Lennox, do, do you want to give your question or do you want me to summarise it? Or? Well, uh, sorry, I've lost the words because I didn't expect to, 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 to deal with it tonight. We're, we were meeting on the 8th of March to deal with it. And it's been, you, you, you or whoever, Tanya, said it had been referred to Social Services Committee. It was nothing to do with the lack. 
Okay, so, so for everybody else... If I want me to go ahead with it, but I, 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 sorry, I haven't been pre- I wasn't that, prepared. That, absolutely, sorry, sorry, Mr. Lennox, my, my mistake, I apologise. Um, so, Mr. Lennox has put, uh, put in a, a question. Um, it has been deemed that it's of importance citywide, so therefore there will be a, a meeting with Mr. Lennox with um, some senior, senior class officers and myself. Yes. Okay. Well, Again. I think all, all, all we can say for the benefit of this meeting is that there's going to be a meeting with Mr. Lennox to go through what officers think is a, an answer, and there'll hopefully there'll be a dialogue at that meeting, and we'll take it from there. But I, I will be there. Yeah, I think chair of social security as well. Chair of social security will be there, yes. Councillor Nelson. Chair, I, just, I, I sit on the relevant committee as the Labour Party spokesperson. I'd like to offer Mr Lennox some help in getting the right people into the meeting to make sure his question gets addressed that's, in the best that's, possible that, way. Is that, that, is that, that, that helpful? That's, that's, that's very helpful. That's okay. very helpful. If we will we'll be in touch and make sure that, you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Minesh? Can, can the answer be added to the minutes and futures? This, I, think, I think he is right. It is relevant to the South West, even if it's beyond the powers of the committee. It'll yep. be interesting to see what comes back. Yep. No, absolutely. No, we're very cl- keen to come up with a process where with complete transparency of the questions and answers. That as Excellent, and I don't really want to make you unhappy. So all, all I will say is the Governors Committee in the first instance are looking at public questions in terms of policy committees, but that the LACs have, are looking at how public questions are working across the seven LACs. Um, and I think watch this space. Um, I think the Council will be getting back to all of you in the very near future um, with um, some proposals. But yes, thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, can we move on to the, the next question? Um, so this is from Julia Watkinson. Okay, so Julia asked about what council fundraising support can we seek to offer teenagers and young adults essential mental health benefits through recreational play and the environment? So we have a, a written response. Um, so we will include that in the minutes. Is that all I need to say? Um, so clearly, you know, we thank, thank, uh, we thank for the question, and you know, we welcome the opportunity to continue to support the aims that you have working alongside colleagues in parks and countryside uh, service and the youth services part of our ongoing lack work. So the full answer will be included in the minutes. Councillor Smith. Yeah. Um, to paraphrase part of the question, because I'm seeing some people from Dawn Topley over there, the question also focused on the provision of playground activities and equipment in Dawn Topley, and it details, uh, I think some of the people here um, are aware of it, we've recently made two awards, both to the playground in Door and the playground in Bradway. So that was a very specific Dawn Topley start to that, and we've been very happy to support both. You make an excellent point, and we've been doing this now for two and a half years, so we've been going around venues and 
we've had a number of challenges in terms of the acoustics, in terms of the, the technology, um, and also in terms of the comfort, in terms of chairs. So we've got to think about that very hard, and it's not just a southwest issue. There's the moving round we see as members really important for the certainly for the larger lacks. We think it's really important to move round to be seen across the communities. But we've ha we've ended up in venues in primary schools where uh, it hasn't worked, and we really need to reflect on that very hard. So I think you raise an an excellent point, and we do need to go back and think about it very hard over the next year about where we go. So, very briefly, Councillor. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm conscious that, that it has been suggested by people in the town hall that we hold these meetings in the town hall. And um, while it may not be very convenient geographically, uh, the sound usually works there. So I don't know if, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if we want to just sample the mood of this meeting and as, as their views on the importance of being here as opposed to being in town hall. Uh, what we want as members is to hear from you in your community, the proposal is that we continue to go out round the wards, but that when we have the, the member side of this, which is, here is a report, we've got to agree this money, could we do some of those in the town hall and still have the meetings out in the community? That is the proposal that officers have suggested to members, and members, as Councillor Austin said, uh, we want your view. So, rather than have a show of hands, if we just close this meeting and then you can tell us uh, in private what your views. But that's the suggestion that officers want us to reflect on. But we still think, we as members still want to go out to the communities to have the engagement side, but maybe the, the formal side of these meetings, because the formal side is so short and restricted, maybe we should have that quickly in the town hall. So that's the proposal, but I don't want to, I'd say, let's not have a show of hands, but anyway, that's the proposal that's being thought about. Um, I think it's been very clear from the members who I've heard um, have all said we want to carry on going round the wards, but Mr Lockwood's point is really important that if we're going to go to venues, we need to check that the venues work. So but that's, that's where we are. I think, uh, I think on that note, um, I, think I, would, I think I would use that to close the meeting. Can I thank you ever so much for your attendance and your contributions? Um, I say the workshops, we, we will... We will take on board all, 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 the, all the comments. And as I say, you've just heard that the, the lax will change for next year, um, but the, the cross-party proposal is that the, the officer team stays in place and the 100,000 community plan stays in place. So assuming the budget gets passed in a couple of weeks, we are much firmer footing. So we reconvene, as it were, the next public meeting will be, you know, for the new council after, after May. But thank you for your attendance today. And thank you for those who've been on this journey these last, these last two and a half years. We've some, seen some faces at many of these meetings. So thank you very much indeed. So.